Are you filming me, dude? I told you, I specifically told you, don't film me with my zipper undone and my balls hanging out of my pants, man. Where? Where the balls? In it. Steak, cheese, bacon. Most famous one. How famous? The most. I'll get it. It's funny, this never braised with my mat. There it is. That's the one. Just in case where you're wondering where all the never braised pies were. Welcome back to More Than Pies with Brock and Joel. We're doing a tour of Australian pies. We're stopping here at the House of Pies. At the Braised Pies. And then that'll be it, actually. It's just the one stop. We got one pie. We've got to split this three ways. Four. We should save a little bit for the photographer. After our pie tour, which is finished now, uh, what we're going to do is drive seven and a half hours to a cactus farm to essentially take photos. And you're probably thinking, why would you travel seven and a half hours to a cactus farm? We've got a film photographer, Top A, who's meeting us from Melbourne. So we're kind of meeting in the middle. And yeah, we've got a 12, 12 acre cactus farm to explore, to get some more apparel shots, tack our shirts off. Um, you know, almost certainly far too long of a day to bother. Hey, to spend seven and a half hours driving with this incredible man, just to take our shirts off, oil each other and pose for half hour, worth it. Brock, worth it, isn't it? Brock. Hey, let's do it. Yep. This is the Zentveld's roastery on our plantation in the hills behind Byron Bay. So this is the first long black of the day. Oh, I hate that so much. Honestly, it's not horrible, but it's absolutely not special. Um, a good, a good road trip coffee at best. Out of ten. Uh, out of ten, a three point. A three point. Wow. Three points. <sighs> I've opted for the almond latte. Guys, keep in mind, this is my first coffee review, okay? So in saying that, I know what I'm talking about. It's not bad, you know? Obviously, I'm drinking it. <laughs> I'm drinking it. Fucking hell. It tastes a little bit like a really nice almond milk and dirt water. Overall, maybe like a, a four out of ten. It, Heathersby's... What was it? Apple, Heathers... Heather's, Heather's Apples Pies. <laughs> Would I go back for another? Would I take a friend there? Would I refer a friend? Absolutely fucking not. I wouldn't fucking do it. Well, I left Chattanooga, boy, had a dollar and a dime. Headed out for Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learn to ride and steam. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Show off that. Yeah, show that off. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, you're so vascular. Thanks very much. Yeah, both for me. Bit of a greedy guts. Thank you. Joel's picked the number one rated coffee house this side of Victoria. We'll be the judge of that today. And if you want to know if a cafe does good coffee, you get the espresso. How is it?
be honest. What? If this is the number one coffee house, Mr. Benjamin's? You're not going to the number two. <laughs> I'm not going to number two. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. I once again have opted for a almond latte. But it hasn't come. Is it pronounced Aubrey? Yes, Aubrey. Aubrey. Yeah. What do you reckon? It's not bad? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was quite nice, actually. That's good. Thank you so much. How would you much. score it out of 10? Um, it gave me a real kick. It, it had a lot of oomph, which I really appreciated. That's Thank good. you for that. I'm glad. The taste was quite nice, and I'm excited for the long black. That's I'm excited best. to take a little bit of Mr. Benjamin's with me. It's actually Mr. Benedict's. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm, uh, forgive him. I'm blind in my right eye. Okay. Yeah. I got I'm the first part right. Unbelievable. Mr. Benedict's. I knew that. My almond latte has come out. I know my almond latte so well, but I can taste consistency. I can taste froth. I can taste uh, whatever you want. Whatever you want me to taste in an almond latte, I can taste it. You haven't even tasted it yet. I'm going to give this a final rating. Out of 10, I'm just being brutally honest, don't shoot the messenger. It's not very strong, It's uh, it tastes burnt and watered down. So, it's, it's, not, it's not looking promising. I would say 3.5, maybe four. That's it, like, because I've been desperate for coffee and that's where I'm at. Thank that you. Was, uh, that's his actually. But Thanks you, very much. Don't touch it. Don't touch it till you burnt it. Holy shit! A kangaroo and Joey's jumping bars. <laughs> shit! You just ran over a witchy grub. You know they're an endangered species. Frog! <laughs> oh, my life flashed before my eyes. Yep, I saw everything. I saw you and me kissing, weirdly enough. <laughs> Smilching. <laughs> you think it's a possibility? More Than Muscle, the movie. Excitement, buddy, give me a woohoo! Yeah, yeah, baby, come on, give me a woohoo! Oh fuck yeah, we're nearly there! Oh my god, I can feel it! I can feel it, baby! Yeah, I'm gonna touch some cacti. <laughs> you need to wash your mouth out. Prop war! How dare you! <laughs> country. We made it. We got the smell of cacti on our nostrils and the taste of flies on our mouth. There's actually an entire family of flies inside my mouth right now. This is our first little sneak peek of cactus country. 12 acres of, of succulents um, and we're excited to explore and I'm happy just to take a moment because this is the only time that Madge doesn't talk. I'm happy to just give it a minute. Oh. <laughs> I'm really keen to take my kid off. <laughs>
to the rapture because Joel's stuff's here and he's completely disappeared. We have no idea where he is. Oh, by the way, guys, have you ever had... Have you ever had a family of flies on the knob of your dick? Anyone? I have. <laughs> It's really difficult to get a decent pump when you're preparing for posing photos. So we've brought some weights with us so that we can work our biceps, our triceps, and we'll just do some push-ups. The one thing you don't pump up is your legs uh, because for some reason, legs is like the only muscle group where once blood is within the muscle, you don't see any separation or Vascularity. Not that you see any in mine anyway. moments like these that you start questioning your life's choices and the, the paths you take. A whole number of things that I could have done today, but I'm getting oiled up by a maid in a cactus farm in Victoria. And don't act like you didn't choose this. We all know the truth. Honestly, it's so lucky that we got here after hours because it's really not nearly as big as... Uh, as a the exchange of baby oil. View of public. I don't know why I'm putting more on. Now I've got just <laughs> excess baby oil. The shoot never really ends for Joel. This could be a while. I'm just trying to look for the next location just to get some slightly different shots. Obviously, cactus is a cactus, but see what we can do. I don't know if you can tell, we're still very deep in cactus jungle. It's actually called cactus country, but who gives a shit? Now we're getting some more here in a different location. Working in a bit of color. You know, we're trying to find really nice scenic shots that complement the physiques complement the tans, complement hey, even the colour of the posing trunks. We've got nice purple flowers here on top of the cacti, working nicely with Brock's maroon trunks. Uh, but don't stare too long. You might question your sexuality. Good. Sorry. No, good. Yep. Nice. Are you filming me, dude? I told you, I specifically told you, don't film me with my zipper undone and my balls hanging out of my pants, man. Where? Where are the balls? I've been waiting on rock for more than 20 minutes. I've been doing this the whole time. And Madge is enjoying it. We're done here at um, Cactus Country. It's been a blast. I think we got what shots we need, and um, looks like we're gonna leave the same way we came in, absolutely covered in flies. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Holy 
Holy smokes. <laughs> he came up on us quick. Um, it was our last stop. Yeah. What did you want to say, buddy? I was going <laughs> to... If you thought we were going to finish on a high, we're not. We're at McDonald's. It's, uh, it's really, really late. It's been a really long day. This is the last coffee. This is the, the last day. stop. So we thought, why not make the last stop, the last coffee, yeah. last coffee review. Now you know that you know that Daddy likes his long blacks, um, but I don't trust McDonald's long blacks. So I've put a little bit of almond in there. I've kind of gone half Brock, half Joel on this, which mm. I think is a nice, nice testament to the day. We've opted for the ice. I don't know why it's fucking freezing. <laughs> It's actually, it, it's really nice. I know, like, they've obviously put some syrup or something in it, you know? I expect a lot worse. I think the dash of almond milk helps soften the blow. For me, I'm going to give it a, uh, I'm feeling very generous. <laughs> I wonder why. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. This is your best coffee of the day. <laughs> Next time you're in Australia, you know where to get coffee. I'm losing my mind.